welcome back to the channel. It's a grey wet day today so instead of waiting for the rain to stop I thought in the meantime I will show you a few things that I've got because there in those two bags are Hood Jeans brand new SK11 Slim Fits triple A rated jeans the highest safety rating you can possibly get so I'll show you how they look and until I go on the ride anyway let me show you my eight favorite pairs of riding boots. So I was actually just about to start cleaning these and I wanted to show you my favorite boots and a range because these, these come in all different prices, 343 pounds to 128. And just before I go into this, have a look at these eight pairs of boots. One of them is 343 pounds and two of them are 128 pounds. Just have a look, soak them in and see if you can figure out which is which, and I'll go into them in a second. So when I passed my test 10 years ago, that, pretty much that style of boot is what I would always wear every time I rode. And that's a good boot. There's nothing at all wrong with those. They're probably offer the most amount of protection, both safety and weather. But when you're out and about riding, it just makes life so much easier. If you have a lifestyle pair of boots that you can comfortably wear with a pair of jeans that look good on and off the bike. And that for me, it's a game changer because it just means that you don't always have to dress up in full exclusive biking gear and then arrive at a destination and you have to bring a complete change of clothes. It makes it so much easier if you can just wear cool biking gear that looks good when you get off the bike, go and see friends, family, whatever. So these are my favorite eight. I said that one pair is over 200 pounds more expensive than the cheapest. And I've given you enough time, I'll tell you, I've put them in price order from most expensive to least expensive and the most expensive Let's start here. So, I'll just give you a rundown from my right to left. Rocker Urban Racer, 343 pounds for these boots. Super premium, made in Portugal. One interesting thing, these are the only boots in the lineup that don't have dedicated ankle armor, either on the inside or outside. They're, they're very, very well-built, solid, boots, but they don't have the armor there. They're 343 pounds, but beautiful quality. Even inside there, that's leather. Real stitching as well around the edge. It's just absolute, look at that, look at that sole. That's an absolute quality boot. 343. The next most expensive is a massive, massive drop down. 205 pounds for Steel Martin Urox. They've got armor on the ankles, just a really nice Italian boot, extremely comfortable as well. 205, 200 pounds. These are the Revit Mohawks. And that's actually a very different style of boot. I've only recently got that. Comfortable, good quality boot with, with actually that's very solid toe armor. 190 pounds, the Melbourne or the Furigan Melbourne boots. Now these ones have a zip there that just makes it a bit easier to take on and off. And that's a great looking classic black boot. It's one of my favorites, that one. And these are the Falco Aviators, Italian company with a zip on each side of the laces. Very nice, beautifully elegant boots. Those, in fact, they look so good that you can barely tell that they're biking boots. And this, these are some of my all time favorites, the TCX X-Blend boots. Very good padding everywhere, 170 pounds for those, and I'll go into those in a little bit more detail in a second, but that is a seriously good buy for boots. And coming down, these two, 128 pounds. The Broga Moto Alaska boots, Polish company. I love these, they're just simple, no messing about boots, but they look the business, and British company. These are proper solid workman style boots, that toe, I could never dream of pushing that down. And then, that, that's a solid worker pair of boots that is really good. That's the 
can't remember the exact name. Oh, that's the Roadster Boots, 128 pounds from RST. So, so, if you're looking for a super premium pair of boots, this is a very special pair of boots, but it doesn't have the armor. So, the point I'd like to make with these is that you don't need to spend the world on whether it's biking boots or gear in general, because the difference in price is huge. And often when you look online, at whether it's spiking jackets or boots or jeans or anything. You know, you do often think, the more I spend, the more boots I get. And th there is an element of truth in that with the rocker boots. They're very, very quality, high quality pair of boots, but you really don't need to spend too much. If you're on more of a budget, the likes of the TCXX blend is a seriously good boot and you won't lose, you won't really lose anything in terms of style. That's an incredibly good looking boot. So if I had to say an all-rounder from all of these boots, the TCX at 170 in brown, because brown goes with black jeans and denim jeans, is a seriously, seriously good buy. And then these two at the more budget end of the spectrum, they're perfectly good boots that will last you 10 years, a huge amount of time. But that's it. My favourite pairs of biking boots. All of them are brilliant. I wear them all almost equally. That's how I know if I like biking gear because I wear it. And then for some gear, if I don't wear it for about six months, I usually give it to friends or put it onto eBay. But these, these are my favorite boots. I genuinely wear these all the time. I won't be selling these. And any one of these will do you well. And the prices I've said actually, they are all for the official prices. So I've gone on to, for example, the TCX website or the Rocker website. But if you type into Google the exact model of boot that you like, for example, let's do these. The Falco Aviator boots. These are 185 pounds, but just go onto Google, type in Falco Aviator boots, and Google will always show you the, sh the shops where you can buy them and the prices. I found those for £130 online, so just save yourself some money. Even these, £170 from TCX, I found those for £130, and I think, I think even these actually, oh no, the Melbourne, no, the, the Furigans, they're £190, and I think, I think I found those for £122 online. So have a look online, you can often save 25% or so. Thing I completely forgot to mention, apart from the rocker boots, all of these have full armor, so on the toes and the ankles, and the most comfortable ones for all day riding and then getting off and walking and exploring. Genuinely comfy for walking as well, and that's a big thing. TCX, Falcos, Furigan, Steel Martin, those four. Those four are the best for all day comfort. You can literally walk around those and they're very nearly as comfortable as trainers. Well, I hope you found that little boot review interesting. And if you have any questions about them, just leave a comment and I'll make sure I read all of them and get back to you. But now on to the jeans. And in fact, actually just a complete disclaimer before, this is not a paid video for anything. You'll see me on the Hood Jeans website because we did a photo shoot for them but I don't get a penny for this, isn't a, isn't a sponsored video at all. So, these are the new SK11s from Hood Jeans, and that's the jean that just came out, I think it's five days ago, they've been incredibly busy, I know, but they came out five days ago, their first ever slim fit pair of riding jeans. So they come in three colors, black, navy oh, i'm excited about these it's been a long time coming and then the stone wash and you'll see all of them exactly the same style just different colors super stealthy barely tell that they're biking jeans the reason i really like these now they've got them in slim fit is because they're AAA rated so the higher safety rating but possibly more than any other pair of biking jeans they give you that reassurance and that feeling of safety almost as much or as much as motorcycle leathers give me and maybe that's a psychological thing but they really do make you feel incredibly safe they've also got very good 
abrasion resistance of, as well of I think about seven seconds so I'll put these on show you how they look they came out about five days ago and I think they come in at about 178 pounds which is very good value so I'll show you all three colors but in essence they're all the same these are the black ones 32 inch waist which is exactly my waist and they come up spot on so don't size up for them British company, so if you order them, you state your exact leg length and they will personally tailor it. They can do 32, 32 and a half, half sizes, anything that you need, they'll do for you. And they're just a really nice, stealth, good fitting pair of jeans. Inside out, you've got the mesh on the far inner and then the Kevlar just underneath that and then the normal jean, hip, pocket there and they come with armor along with the knee pocket which goes under there I've been waiting for these so long I'm so happy to get these jeans so that's it the hood jeans I just love good value sturdy robust gear that you feel like you feel like it could last a lifetime but that's enough about products hopefully you found some interesting stuff and it hasn't been an overload but I think the rain stopped So let's see if the bonnie starts and go and get a coffee. I'm always a bit unsure when I go to get the Bonneville out for the first time in a little while if it will start because they're brilliant bikes the Bonneville, it's incredibly reliable but sometimes on these older 865s they have a little bit of a starting issue so I have to take this around with me and if it doesn't start, if you press start and you hear that tick have to take off the side panel and cross the starter solenoid with a screwdriver and incredibly it works well looks weird because a lot of times if i'm trying it people think i'm trying to hot wire and steal the bike but it works so if i need to i'll show you it probably about 80 percent sure this will start first time but if it doesn't you're in for a real treat bikes I've had they've all been either Euro 5 bikes or the electric live wire so you forget what more old-school exhaust notes sound like and how much of that exhaust character has to be taken away with the exhaust or with the Euro 5 emissions and the Euro 5 standards just the way they are because they do restrict the exhaust sound as well as emissions getting back on the Bonneville it's got such a nice character for the exhaust note it also feels like a bit of a rocket compared to the Max but it's great to be back on it every time I give a bike back and get back on the Bonneville oh, I love it gear for the day Indian actually Indian motorcycle sent me these just really nice classic styled simple gloves Revit jacket I've shown this before it's the Burry and it's got this removable liner and it's about 12 degrees today so that's brilliant these are the Broga boots these are the 128 pound boots and when you're looking at boots you can spend a lot but, you know, to get cool looking boots you don't have to you can get these 128 pound boots and they look really cool as well so you can get anything in the spectrum that I had today and in my mind they all are off the scale cool boots and I'm wearing my exclusive helmet that I actually left on the bike but after the coffee, I'm gonna go back and show you something because I just saw what I think is 
a Mazda RX-7 from about 1986 and it's immaculate so I'll ride past and show you if I remember after the cover. Okay here we go just got back to the spot and I saw this is kind of a business area in Kent and I just drove past a kind of Mazda showroom and I've never seen this car before this early generation Mazda RX-7 so I'll see if I can just get next to the window and show you because it's an unbelievably cool looking car so this is it here that I couldn't believe it when I saw it I've never seen one of these RX-7 I think that's 1986 model it's absolutely immaculate next to a really cool looking sports car and you've got an old MX-5 there but that RX-7 is absolutely stunning I've never seen that before sunroof just exhaust twin exhaust at the back there sea reg which I think is 86 in UK terms right hand drive wow little RX-7 logo on the side that is beautiful well thank you so much for coming along with me today I'll wrap up the video here I really hope you enjoyed it and next week or in the next vlog I should have something completely different which is an Indian I always forget the exact name an Indian vintage dark horse one of the big Indian cruisers with a, a big metal front and rear fender that covers almost well probably about 60% of the wheel I cannot wait for that but if you like the video please do give it a like subscribe to the channel and give a comment if you can all interaction is hugely appreciated thank you so much and have a brilliant day